A popular AEW star was injured at the Revolution pay-per-view, we've got new details on Tony Khan's plans for Ring of Honor, and a top AEW star has re-signed with the company, so stay tuned. So, a bit of bad news, unfortunately, coming out of Revolution, which I thought largely was a really great pay-per-view, but not so great for one man, and that man's name is Orange Cassidy, suffering an injury during the face of the Revolution ladder match. So, you may remember, I'm sure you all know the bump that we're talking about if you cast your minds back, uh, Keith Lee tossing him out of the ring and he had lots of wrestlers waiting for him but yeah sort of he kind of got overshot a little bit comes down a bit too hard on the ramp right? yeah yeah quite quite hard indeed yeah. and then he came out last night on dynamite and then revealed that he had injured his left arm taking that bump yeah um, which isn't especially surprising his arm was in a sling but he did say that he's not going to require surgery we've got no timetable for his return, but it's it's hardly unsurprising. I imagine there are a lot of sore bodies following Revolution. Yeah, I mean, the, the, nearly every single match on that card to me went hard, like yeah. like absolutely ham. So it was like, I, you know, the, thankfully he's not going to require surgery. Thankfully he's just in a sling. Maybe it's just like a, you know, it popped out of its joint, it's back in, and everything's fine. You know, just got to hope. That it doesn't take very long for him to get back and that you know this sort of thing doesn't happen again yeah for sure I mean the the, the good thing um, the good thing about it is he's the mm. sort of character no, not that there's a good thing but one positive that you can take from it is that he's a yeah. character that can come out and do his bits still be on yeah. TV it's not yeah. like he has to wrestle every no, week or anything people, like that he can still provide entertainment to, people are happy to just see him so yeah for sure yeah it's I think it works so we send our best to Orange Cassidy. Um, we've got new details on future Ring of Honor plans. So Tony Khan purchasing Ring of Honor um, and various sources here, but uh, starting with SE Scoops saying, Ring of Honor execs expect the deal with Tony Khan to close around the first week of April. It could be finalized sooner than that, but that's the time frame that they're working with. The general message to Ring of Honor staff has been described to us as, we're fighting for you and exploring how to help everyone. If you want to stay in the wrestling business, we're doing our best, but there's no formal transition planned and no guarantee that anybody will stay on. Um, sources saying that Ring of Honor employees were told by the company that they don't get the impression that the new regime is interested in hiring them after the sale goes through. So it looks like they're about to lose. It does sound just a little bit like, oh, you want to stay in the rest of the business? Nice. <laughs> Good for you. See you later. Yeah, yeah. You know what uh, the other ones suck. are. It sucks for them. It's, it's not a, an easy thing to do. Obviously, no, Ring of Honor certainly not. needs a, a shake-up, but it certainly yeah. sounds, according to this report at least, like Tony Khan is going to bring his own people in to do this. Um, staff have apparently been encouraged to explore new career opportunities, including speaking to Sinclair Broadcast Group's HR department about transferring elsewhere in the company. Severance packages are being considered but nothing has been fully decided on yet. So yeah, it's, it's really bad news. It's just a shame. Lot. Yeah, like the, especially if you've worked so long in a company like Ring of Honor, you enjoy the fact you work within the wrestling sphere and now potentially you may have to, you know, e maybe even just temporarily like move to another wing of Sinclair Broadcasting for a bit. Like it's... I guess one good thing is that Sinclair is a massive organization and yeah. they, there, there may be roles in the company for them. So hopefully yeah. a lot of people aren't made redundant. Of course, it's, yeah. It's uh, it, it's not sounding especially good according to that report anyway. Um, so updates on Honor Club, first of all. Um, that streaming service, Ring of Honor streaming service, very much in limbo. Ring of Honor has a call scheduled with AEW to review the technical setup behind Honor Club and determine if that asset will be included as part of the sale. Subscribers are going to be notified of changes to the service and where they can get video content going forward at some point. You've got to believe that the, the end goal here is to set up AEW's own on-demand streaming service yeah, away with, from third-party services. Yeah, with everything that they've kind of tied into or have, you know, partnerships with, I'd imagine, being filtered through one thing. So I, I think if they, obviously, Ring of Honor tape library is enough to get most people to, uh, to jump over if it's, you know, all there and it's all easily accessible and, you know, it's, it's one centralized app, I think it's... It's a no-brainer. It's a very valuable bit of intellectual property. That oh the, god, the, yeah. The, like yeah, that, I mean, I, I WWE was... wanted it for so long. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, so they must be a bit upset about this. Uh, Supercard of Honor, the upcoming show, um, but apparently that has been thrown into a bit of disarray. Ring of Honor's pending sale has thrown planning for the upcoming Ring of Honor Supercard. 
Um, into disarray, Tony Khan's team wants to produce the pay-per-view and use their own production resources that they feel comfortable with. AEW also wants to handle the booking, but are being respectful of what's already in place. The dynamic has been described to SE Scoops as the AEW team wants to, uh, things to go smoothly, but done their way. Um, and it's I guess that's unsurprising. Um, it's it's unsurprising, but I just imagine this just an entire room of people going, so here's the plan. And every time they open their mouths, Tony just goes, Kenny Omega. <laughs> no, just over them. Don't <laughs> uh, AEW apparently requesting a list of talent that's booked for the show. Uh, so on that, you've got Bandito, you've got Joe Hendry, yep. Gresham, the Briscoes. However, the Briscoe's not locked in just yet as they're working the main event of Impact Wrestling's Multiverse of Matches event uh, across town later that evening. Um, Ring of Honor has, has discussed the Briscoe's wrestling FTR at Supercard of Honor. It was something that's been teased quite a lot on social yeah. media in recent times and then working for Impact afterwards. But apparently that's just wishful thinking at the moment. So card subject to change more than ever on this show. Yeah, and I, it's, it's, it'd be a shame to lose the show as well. So I, I think, oh, we, I think it's going to go ahead. Yeah, I, I think it, it, hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll reach like a middle ground where AEW are happy with it and it's not going to disturb the already established you know, stories and everything yeah, through it. So the, the people who are still watching and still attending those shows, they don't want the change. You, yeah. yeah, it's not that they don't necessarily want well, the change. Well, they, 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 they want to see the resolution of, of everything they've oh, been yeah, watching. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Um, apparently, they're way beho uh, behind. Sorry, on the show's preparations, including finalizing the card, booking, travel arrangements, mm. and other logistics. Earlier this week, a top Ring of Honor employee told staff, "One way or another, Supercard is happening." As of today, Supercard is moving forward. So it's fast approaching Friday, April the 1st um, from Garland, Texas. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that shapes up, whether or not we're going to see some AEW stars on the show. All AEW stars. Tony does a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> It's Christian Cage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know what to, what to really make of this. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's um, it's, quite, it's kind of like a similar feeling to before we knew what NXT 2.0 is, isn't it? Where we're kind of like, ooh. I'd say we're a lot I mean, more optimistic we're, we're, we're about this one. We're a lot more optimistic, one. but yeah, the, the feeling is still very much like, what's it going to be like? As soon as that rainbow Oh, God, sort of I, was talking, I was talking before that. You know, oh, right, we okay. were like, ooh, what's it going to be? No, I, the way I remember it, people were like, don't mess with our NXT. Oh, Despite God, the yeah, fact that fewer yeah. people than ever were watching it at that point. Um, and sticking with AEW, one more uh, story here. Uh, Miro has re-signed with the company. Um, he has signed a four-year contract extension. He'll be with AEW through to at least the start of 2026. Um, obviously, he's not been on TV lately. He's not been on TV since November 13th when he lost to Brian Danielson in that world title elimination tournament, eliminator tournament rather. Um, apparently, he was rehabbing an injury back in January. Yeah. We've still not seen him yet. Um, he's good to go is, mm. is what uh, reports are saying, but maybe they just don't have creative for him at the moment. It's been quite yeah. a stop start, Miro. In. It has, and I, I think he could benefit from, you know, like a nice, long, clear piece of creative for a solo push. I, I would very much enjoy that. So maybe that's what we're kind of waiting for the gap for that to free up I, I don't I know hope so. it's just it's so I mean, they stacked, wouldn't they it, wouldn't but... have signed him for so long oh, it, no. had they not had some form of huge plan and there was of course the report came out i think it was was it yesterday it might have been somebody like Meltzer had said uh, you know it'd, it'd be foolish for wwe not to try and you know not to want miro now so it kind of Makes sense AEW would tie him down if he, they've got plans. He's probably buzzing that AEW have signed this extension because I can't imagine him wanting to go back to WWE oh God, no. with yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the bad creative that he suffered for so, so yeah. long there. Um, which isn't to say that AEW has been consistently great with Miro. No, or anything, no. But like, at least they see something in him that's a long time. Yeah. Apparently only originally signed a two-year deal, which was quite uncommon. So they was maybe just testing the waters a little bit. Yeah. Um, so it's good to hear that he is uh, he's with the company for uh, four more years. Um, we are finishing with Braun Strowman news. Uh, and this is something else. He has taken a shot at goofs. Not you, not me. I'm, Maybe I'm, you. I'm seconds away from walking out here. So he posted an Instagram um, post uh, hyping the Control Your Narrative promotion. Um, and he said, if you missed our first sold out show, don't miss this one, as Control Your Narrative is set to blow the roof off of the world famous Gillies Dallas. Um, see the essential character EC3, count the seconds of someone's life away with Killer Cross, or stand in awe at the presence of the Titan. 
and this is where he starts shooting. And if you think that's all you want to see, wait until you see what else we have up our sleeves. This will be the only place to be unless you want to watch a bunch of dorks choreograph dance with each other for no reason at all, because we don't do that garbage in the narrative, because we actually fight. I've, I've watched part of the show, and I'm not sure I, I Well, first um, off, first off, it's like uh, we've got EC3 counting down the seconds of someone's life with Real Killer Cross. They just stood over somebody. One. Sounds really tragic, Two. That. <laughs> three. Uh, four. TikTok, and now they eh? fight each other. That's going to last, isn't it? That's yeah. going to be a business model. They're so beating each other up. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the positives here before I take the piss. Yeah. Um, they're trying to do something different. Oh, God. I think, yeah, I think yeah. that is to be admired. It's not for me, because mm. I'm not a nutter. I, <laughs> I I like that they're they're just going with their own vision on it, and yeah. that they're you know they're getting out there, they're shooting it in a different way. It, it, they're shooting it in a way where it very much sets itself apart. They you know they are interesting names. Like I want to see what Braun's been doing. I want to see how big Braun is now that he's not in WWE. He's going to be huge, surely. Like I now he can take I, steroids. What do you mean? No, I just meant like he's he's going to have more to like prove and probably oh, push yeah, himself sure. more. So we're gonna we're gonna see maybe new sides to these people. And you know we don't get to see him anywhere else. So I from what I've seen of it, and yeah. I've watched a fair few clips. I was I was on YouTube for about an hour yesterday. Um, I think it's pretty gash. Uh, I, I think, <laughs> it, it, I think it's, it, it's quite tacky and... It's got a market though. You're right, yeah. you're right. If people they, like they sold it, out their first people show. People like the... Evanescence, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you just can't explain some things, can you? I thought at you? first you said people like Eminem there. <laughs> Sam shoots on Marks and Sparks. <laughs> No, genuinely, good luck to them. Yeah. Brock, especially, was a big shock when he was released, and I wish nothing but Brock. the best for... Braun! <laughs> Breaking news! Brock Lesnar! I slept four hours last night, can you tell? <laughs> Braun was a big shock when he was released, and I wish nothing but the best for anybody who yeah. loses their job. And has uh, the balls not... to take it in their own hands, right? Yeah, and, right. And, and, and walk he... forward with it. I, I don't know if there were many companies that could stump up the cash that he wanted, mm. so he went and set up his own thing with his buddies. And again, it's not for me, but if it's for you, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and you have you have fun with it. Are you ending the video? Sweet. Take care. All the best. Oh, it was Adam Sher now, by the way, not Braun. Bye. Titan. Tight Titan. <laughs>